Hello, darlings. Happy Monday to everybody and welcome to Let's Build the World. And welcome to the third part of Paws and Claws Veterinary. We're going to be here today. We're going to, we're actually in the interiors today. So we're going to get going with the actual veterinary surgery itself. Uh, all of the waiting rooms, the surgery rooms, the hallways. We're going to get that completed today. And then tomorrow for the final part, we're going to go up and furnish the like Airbnb that we were talking about, if you remember rightly. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Um, But yeah, that'd be really cool. Really, really cool. And then obviously this week, I've got lots more of the new The Potter Project. It was so nice to see so many of you guys excited about that. Because I am so excited about doing this series. I really, really am. So I cannot wait to delve into that further too. And then I've got a speed build coming on Friday. So we've got a mixture of a few let's builds here and there. Let's build the worlds. And then obviously the Potter Project. And then the speed build coming on Friday. Now for you Twitch viewers as well from next week. So the week commencing the 12th of April. My screen... Scream? My streaming schedule is going to change. I'm going to be streaming every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from next week. I mean, at the minute, I'm streaming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But I want to have a bit more time to be able to edit other videos and stuff, other content uh, at the beginning and at the end of weeks. And also now because summer is creeping up, I want to be able and we're allowed to go and meet up with people outside. I want to take that with both hands because it's been a long time since I've been able to spend some time with my friends and family and stuff. So yes, that's why mainly the streaming schedule has to change, but it's still the same amount of like times that I'm streaming. It's just on different days now. Well, a couple of them are different days, the Tuesday and the Thursday one. So yeah, just wanted to get that out. I'm going to be live tonight though at 7 p.m gmt we are building lily and james potter's house for the the potter project um if you want to come along you can join us there but if not well you can just stay here with me now can't you okay let's go into game and start building okay my dears so here we are obviously last time we cracked on with the exercise garden for the dogs and cats with a little cat toilet in there as well lovely uh, little feeding stations and stuff here. They've got a little like tunnel to play in and some toys outside. And then we had this like memorial garden over the other side where they could come and sit and reflect and if they've lost pets or something, you know. Um, so that's what I did over there. I haven't done much of anything else really. Apart from on this side here, I actually carried over the signage onto the side as well. I just thought it suited it kind of wrapping around the bottom of the building. Um, so that's what we did there, darlings. Yes, we did indeed. So today, obviously, what we're going to do, be doing is furnishing this area here, this like cross area. Um, so I think what we'll do is probably start on the actual waiting room itself. Now, I don't know what to do in here. I definitely want some seating. But I just I really want this place to be kind of laid out quite nicely so it's easy because I know how cramped these get, the, the vets get in the sims 4 they they tend to get quite crowded with people especially in the waiting area so i may do like a little small bench here and then just do one more here and then one more over this side with like a coffee table in the middle or something i don't know and then behind here i don't know what to put there i definitely want to do some branding so we're definitely going to be putting the branding up there but maybe like a tv or something up on this up on the wall i'm unsure loves but we're just going to carry on and see what happens yes we are indeed now Seating area seats. I think we might use the get to work benches. They seem to, and that color fits in here quite well, actually. That first color that I pulled out. Let me just check the others. Oh, there's a blue one there. Oh, I like the blue, actually. Oh, yes, that one. So, because we could get a few of these in here as well. So, if I can like squeeze like maybe one there, let me put one in this orientation here just to see how that would work. It would not work. <laughs> it would not work. I can see it now, Aiden. It would not work. So we're going to do two like this instead. And I am going to just meet those up like that onto each side. Let me see how we can get it. I've put some blinds up here as well. Um, I just thought it just needed a little bit of privacy in here, to be honest with you. Um, I just want to see how close I can get this to the blinds without it being awkward. Because as I said, I want to have a nice flow through of space in here. 
Uh, and I think that would work. Oh, it kind of does. Now I can, can I get two in there? I might have to move these up a little bit, which would be a little bit annoying, but we're just going to have to do it, loves. We are, I'm not going to overload this place with seating areas. My vets, there's literally just two chairs. So, um, well, it's not my vets, it's blues. But the vets that I do take to blue, I take to blue. Take blue too. Yeah, they've only got like two little chairs, so um, there's not much seating area ready. So this is luxury, if you ask me. Now, I was going to do two of these, but I think I'm just going to keep one in. I think I'm just going to keep one in. Can I get a blue tone here as well? Oh, there we go. Yes. Oh, I'm for that. And then on here, what I'm going to do is let me just check the items that we do need in here. I think I've got everything. Yeah, I've met all the requirements for a vet clinic, so I, I will put a computer up on here as well. Um, just so it looks like they can look through, and get booked in and whatnot. Oh, it doesn't go on this desk? Really? Why would, why would it not go on that? Oh, that's very annoying. Well, let me figure something out. Okay, well, what we're going to do instead is I'm going to make, make one using the base game counters, but I'm going to use two of these now. Now that I can, I will, because I'm, I'm, that was a bit big anyway. It was like, what, three tiles wide? And that's why I couldn't use two of these, whereas now we can. We may as well, darlings. That might help, actually, with um, the congestion that these vets do get in. Oh, I'm for it, I think. And do you know what I think I might do? I know we're going to have, like, sign... Oh, no, that's not going to go down. I could move that down with the tool mod, but have I got the stomach or patience to today? The answer is no. But I'm going to see. Nah, nah, we're going to leave it. We're going to leave it. But this is still now going to allow me to be able to put a computer on top, which is what I want. It's what I want. It is. It's not going to go in the middle, though, which is infuriating. But that doesn't matter. I can do it like that instead. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fine. And I think behind it, it needs some, like, files or something. And I know that Get to Work came with those, like, filing thingy-majigs. These here. Can we get these in with a color as well? Mm, I've kind of preferred the silver, to be honest. So I'm going to flop a couple of these in. Maybe they can just be files for the pets to get their prescriptions and stuff. Yeah, I'm for that. And I think we need a clock up on the wall as well. Um, If I can go into there and grab this one. I might be able to place this just underneath of it. Yeah, I think we could. I think we could. Oh, I'm for it. Yes. Okay. Well, now I've done that, I think we can get some coffee tables in as well. What coffee tables came with this pack? Um, not the vibe, especially not glass of animals running around. Not the vibe. And in my vets as well, they've got like a separate area for waiting for cats and a separate area waiting for dogs. So it's like cats and small animals and then dogs. So it kind of keeps the dramas separate. I thought that was very clever. Very, very clever. Um, not that Blue gives a rat's ass about cats. <laughs> he's more just curious about them. I think he's a little bit scared of them as well, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, he, there'll be no happenings with blue and cats. I can promise you that. Oh, it's making me now want to like go here, push that bit in there and then fit this in the middle. Oh, I prefer that actually. Oh, I might do it on this side as well. Now I've done that. This side's not going to be able to go in as far, but we've got enough room on this way to be able to make that work. Let's get you in there first, darling. And then I can flop you around like so. There we go. Yes. Yes, I'm for that. That's it. That frees up this space here as well, which I'm absolutely for. I really am. Oh, cool. Okay. Did I do a fire exit sign anywhere? I'm sure I put one in, didn't I? Did I not? Oh, how weird. Well, let me go and grab that. There she blows. I'm going to put you up on the top there. Um, And I'm going to put them either side here as well. I'm going to fit one there, one there, and then just pop them over on this side too. Can they escape out that way? No, they can't escape out that way. So we won't make it that way. You need to run all the way around here, darling. There's a fire. There's a flammable pussy. You're going to have to run away from it. Why did I say that? Why did I say that? Oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. Now, is there anything else that I want here, really? Okay, so I got inspiration from my vets. And I've actually done, this is the dog waiting area. And this is the cat waiting area here. Put some magazines for clutter on top of there. 
some other cat related objects some grooming techniques and whatnot and then on this side i did the same over here with the dogs um, and put a few little veterinary posters up there i also put some treats up on the side because my vet always gives blue a treat when he's been a good boy um and i've put these clouds up here i just thought it looked a little looked a little bit cute so i've done that on that side as well um but yeah i think that that area looks perfect i think it's going to run really well the space is perfect for it so that is exactly what we're going to do exactly what we're going to do so i think what we'll do is start moving on to the other areas now let's move on to the kennel so this is the room where the cat or dog had a place to just come and chill out recover from their operations you know how it's going to go so I'm going to pop one of these in. Is that the wrong one it is? I'm going to pop a door there and also a door there as well. And I'm going to have one for a dog and one for a cat. Why are you glitching out? Stop it. One for a dog and one for a cat. Now, we don't necessarily want the cat or dog to be able to see each other while they're in the kennels because it would just cause havoc. So what I'm going to do is put in maybe that hedge. Um, We can just pretend it's like an artificial hedge that we've popped in here yeah this one here but the bigger one and um, we'll use you in a light color as well just so they've got a room to uh yeah and then they won't be able to see each other in there oh that'd be perfect and then they can sort of lie down on either side then oh i'm for it now they would have in real life these kennels usually come with like a little outdoor point where they can go through i was thinking about doing it on this side but i'm not going to do it i'm not going to do it it's a place where they just want to recover from their operation and not have any dramas so that's what we're going to do yes we are indeed so we need a big pet bed um we'll use this one. Oh, the blue's looking okay actually and i think i'll just do a food bowl and put a couple of toys in here too but the same with the kitty cat no the cat's bed can i like give them a little i'm gonna have to give them a place to go toilet the dogs would get walked out and go to the loo and whatnot but um I think I'll give them just a little Mr. Tinkles, Mr. Tinkles litter box there. In fact, to save time, we use this one here because this one here actually lasers the poo away. I mean, I'd be for that because I'm not being funny, but cat shit is the rank. It's got to be the rankest poo out there. It absolutely knocks the dog poo out of the park, <laughs> as weird as that sounds. But I just, oh my God, the smell of cat poo makes me, uh, makes me wretch. I cannot with it. Not at all. Not at all. When I lived with my best friend, he had an indoor cat. And obviously, litter box. Honestly, I can't bear the smell of it. It makes me feel violently ill. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> so I'm not for it. Right, we're going to do a small dog bowl there. There we go. Little rest and recovery place. And then we'll do a cat bowl on this side. Have we got one with a fish on it? Do you have a, one with a fish on it? Oh, it's got a pink one with fish on it. Oh, there's a blue one with fish on it. I'll put you just next to here. Um, Yeah, like there. They've got a space to chill out um, and recover from their operations and whatnot. And I think I'm going to do one light like this there and then one over this side as well there we go yeah lovely oh lovely now i think in here just so it's so just so you can clean this place out properly i think i'm going to add in just like a little floor drain so maybe when they do come in and sterilize it and clean this place they can easily just yeah put it straight down the drain just in case they poo or pee or something you know so we're going to add one of these um, either side I'm going to do one on this side rather than that side yes so they have got a place where they can get rid of the poo and pee and just flush it down you know I think that's only right to be honest with you yes it is and I don't think I'm going to put any kind of like cabinetry or anything in here but maybe if like some of the vet, vet veterinary nurses want to come in here and sit and maybe watch over them if they're not doing too well over after an operation i might put a chair in here too or even a stool like one of these just somewhere where they could come and sit um let me find one so i ended up using these two little fold out chairs here i think they would work best in here also bought out a little robot vacuum and then these little chart things here i reckon is with all of the information of what 
whatever operation the cat or dog had on. So the nurses can check and see if they need their supplements or those kind of things, you know. So that's what I've done there. And then on this side, I was thinking about adding in a couple of vents just to get some fresh air into here, just in case. So they've got a couple of vents on either side here. Can I put them on the other side of the wall? I can indeed. So I'm going to do that and um, just in case of, you know, they need some they need some fresh air and to get rid of the poo fumes that could go on in this place. But yeah, I'm kind of happy with how that is. I actually I forgot as well that I put the door here and this here. It's stupid. So I've moved the door. So the door's on that side now instead. Yeah, that kind of works. That kind of works. I'm feeling it. I really am. So I think what I want to go and do is put a few posters and stuff around the corridor areas. Now, they're probably going to be copies um, of all of the posters that we've got already, but I'm going to do it just so they've got some kind of decoration in the hallways. I'm unsure if I'm going to do any like seating or anything in the hallways. I might do. I might do. Who can say? Right. We've got dogs here. We've got cats. Lovely. Going all the way down. Um, and here, I think, I think I might put another window there, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to put another window on this side, um, and flip it around that way. So many of you lost your shit at the fact that the windows were the other way around, but I was happy with them being that way. But just to stop you guys from pooing your pants so much, I flipped them around the other side so the dogs won't get a bit embarrassed when they're, um, excuse you. Thank you very much, please. Well, I didn't do it to that one, did I? Um... Oh, no, it is. That is right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This way. See? I do think of you. I do think of you. There we go. And I'll pop them around there. Just in case they want to come and watch their pet being examined and they're not allowed in. Because at the minute, we are not allowed in with our pets when they're being examined and stuff. I found that out when I went with Blue. Um, Obviously, because of the worldwide pandemic that we're all going through at the minute. Um, So I and Blue was so scared about going in as well. <laughs> really was kept looking at me like oh don't let them take me don't let them take me I'm not for it yes more of these all the way down um oh and there's a rehoming one there I definitely love that one we'll have them in the actual vet surgeries itself as well I think is there any more uh pop another one of you up here I don't think there is any more poster wise they've got these big ones but I mean I could put that up I could just size it down I could just size it down and plonk you there yeah, you're a bit, they're a bit high, actually. They are a bit high. I'm going to move them down one. Uh, eh, eh. Oh, God. Right. And you there as well. And you down there as well, darling. Yes. Yes. Um, I might do a couple of chairs out here as well, just in case they've, like, took them into surgery and they just want to sit near them. We could have them, like, looking in through the windows. Oh, that plant's creeping in there. I can see that. Uh, so I might do another one there as well. Just in case they want to like peep in. Yes, I'm for it. I'm for it. But I will put another one here too. Just in case. Kind of makes sense having it there. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, Do I want to do one there as well? I think I do. I think I'm going to move you in. And I'm going to do another one here too. Yeah, that should be fine. That should be fine. Cool. Yes. Okay. Well, we're going to crack on with one of the examination rooms together. And then I think I'm just going to copy exactly what I did and put it into the other room as well. We're not going to like differ them too slightly. Um, I don't really know a lot of the gameplay with cats and dogs. So I'm just going to, this is going to be a hefty guess. So I'm going to keep you into the middle because you kind of seem balanced there. And we're going to get out some pieces. I'm going to just going to pull out your loads of stuff. Give me one sec. I've pulled out a few objects. I think on this side, what I want to do is almost like a desk area on this wall here. Well, this side here of the wall. And then on the other side, I want to definitely get a sink of some description in as well. So I might try and use the same um, kitchen counter as what we've used for the reception area. Now, I can't remember what for the life of me that was. It was this one. So I'm going to put one there. And then another, and then another one there. <laughs> and then I'm going to put a sink in as well. Um, it doesn't really matter what kind of sink it is, to be honest with you. Just so they've got somewhere to be able to put, wash their hands and whatnot. Get bits and bobs out, which I have pulled a few bits and bobs out here. I've got a hair on my face. I'm going to get you down here as well. We'll pop you there, my love. 
Um, you can stay on there. That looks quite mobile as well, which I quite like. Uh, can I put these anywhere as well? Oh, I can squeeze them there, maybe. Is that cutting in? <gasps> it's not. My God, Sims, are you feeling okay? And I think I'm going to use the this one. I want to make it look like it's kind of mobile with like bits and bobs on. So I'm going to keep that there and then move you into the corner slightly there. And then obviously for the hand washing station, I'm going to do you and you there like so. And I think we do need another piece or a computer in here. We'll stick with the same computers we've been using. And I want to use that stool. I don't necessarily want them to be able to use these. Um, I just want it to make it look apparent. And we've got that. Where are you? This one here. Oh, this could work. Should we do it in white? Yeah, we'll do it in white. So the vet could like wheel themselves around on this. Yes, I'm kind of for that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, I'm 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 here for it. Really am. Really here for it. And just in case, again, if the um owners want to come and take a seat while they're in here, maybe getting a chair in here wouldn't be a bad idea too. And I'll just use the same fold out one that we've used in the kind of kennel area. I'll pop you in the corner there, just in case the owners do want to come in and wait for their pet to be done. And I think the same in here. I think I want to make this all kind of like cleanable. So I'm going to use some drains in here too. Um, I'm going to do one just there. Let's hope that doesn't affect anything. Maybe I'll put it on this side just in case. Um, I'll pop you there. I'll pop you there. And I think I want those vet posters in here. But the ones with the actual vets on. There seems to be one there. Where are you? Where's this room gone? I'll pop one of these. Maybe up on this side actually. And the same with the other one. Where is that other bastard gone? Where are you? There you are. I'll plonk you up on the side there as well. Oh, yeah, I hope that that kind of makes sense to me. That kind of makes sense. Let's get that grid off so we can see. That kind of makes sense to me. Yes, I'm for it. I'm just going to copy this, what I've done, onto this side. And then what we'll do is get on with the actual um, surgery area as well. There we go. I just copied it over to this side as well. And I've also shut my blinds because I just realized that all of the sun was like bleaching out my face. I can't have that, darlings. Not in a recording. Yes. Yes, I'm happy with them. There seems to be some... Ah, that's what's in here. I was like, there's something else in here that I'm missing. Where can I plonk you? I'm going to put you there because you go forwards, don't you? Oh, no, that's fine. I can plonk you there and I'll do some more of those... That canister thing. Aluminium lab canisters. I'll put you there. Yes. Yes, that's fine. Okay, well, let's move on to the surgery room, shall we? We're just going to start right now. So this does need a bit of space, doesn't it? So I might actually put you in this orientation around here. The dog gets, they get, the animal gets on that and goes in that way, don't they? So that's a nice bit of walkway around there because we need this object too, which is the medicine, like crafting is where they craft the actual medicine. I'm going to plonk, plonk one of you down to there. I'm going to do a little moment of these around here. But I also feel like this place needs some kind of like cabinetry in here as well. So maybe using this, two of these, one and two. Let me just see. Oh, Christ. Are you going to be skipping? Nope, that's not clipping on that. That's fine. Well, I'm going to do some of these in here as well then. Let's get all of the objects out from cats and dogs. Doobie doo. I think it's, is it clutter? It is. I want some of this business. There we go. But I, nah, no, 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 no. I want this, this thing. I'll plonk you down to there, and put you on there. It almost looks like they could be in surgery that way. Oh, I'm for it. And then I know this is a human thing, but I want that like x-ray thing in here. It is a human skull, but we can just pretend that it's a very, very human-like golden retriever. So that's what we're going to do. I'll pop you up there. Can I change you, the colour of you? Um, I mean, didn't make much difference, but we're going to do it anyway. Yep, we'll plonk you to there. I think some more filing cabinet stuff here as well, or filing bits would look great in here. They definitely need to have a clock in each room as well, so I'm going to make that apparent now. I'm going to plop one of these up there above that one. 
the same here and then also in the actual surgery room itself i'll plonk that up a bit higher there we go yes and again i want to make it look like it is a kind of a wet room or a room that can be just completely disinfected quite easily where can i put you that would kind of semi make sense right near the electronics there we go <laughs> perfect <laughs> Um, is there anything else from get to work that I could put up on the walls in here? No. What I've done is just put another fire exit up there as well. So it's kind of got everything in here to make it look like a room. I don't want, again, I don't want this place to be like cluttered or overly detailed. I want it to be able to run really nicely. Um, but what I do want to do is get in some of that branding that we've got. This is the brand of the hospital. So I would love to have this coming around a little bit more. And I know we've got just this one which will probably fit a lot easier actually oh, i don't know because that's kind of got the vet name on it as well yeah we'll do that we'll plonk one of you there can i is there anywhere i can put this one in here i mean i could put it in the middle there um and maybe just move these along one, one either way yes yes that's perfect and the same with you oh where's the surgery room it's over here sorry for all the spinning spinning around like nobody's business today but um, I'm going to put one of these in here as well. I'm just going to do it above there. I think that looks nice. Oh, there we go. Itchy nose. I am recording. It's only right. Um, I'm not going to do like a seat in here either. I don't think you would come in and watch your pet get cut open. Oh, I know I certainly wouldn't. Um, But yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's speaking to me now. I also put some magazine stands in the hallways as well. Um, Coming out from here. Uh, I think we need to have a, like a, a bin somewhere. Maybe I could do that by the actual um, sofas in the uh, in the corridors. How long did that take to get out then? Aiden, for goodness sake, get your shit together. Right, I'm going to do that. No, not you. I don't want you. I want a little white one down there. Lovely. Just in case they've got some rubbish they need to throw away. I'll put one by either bin um either chair just in case they've got any waste yeah there we go lovely um but that also means now that i do need to put one on the outside uh and i'm thinking about adding a big one and putting it underneath this advertisement here i think i'll do that i think i'll do that but maybe just move that up one can you be moved up no oh do i need to grab a hold of you i do does that look weird let me put that up first no that looks fine and yes, yes, the bin goes out there. Lovely. Okay. Okay. So, so to finish off, I think we'll just do the toilet together. I think we'll do the toilet together. And that is the actual veterinary surgery complete today. So it doesn't need to be a bathroom. just needs to be a toilet. But I do want to make it look very uh, commercial. So I think get to work's the best one for that because it's got these co- Can you imagine putting your ass down on that toilet seat? Oh, no, thank you. Weirdly as well, I never sit on the toilet seat. I always hover when I poo. <laughs> I'm joking. What I do do though, do do. <laughs> what I do do is um put um, toilet roll on the seat. No more, even, even if I'm at home in my own house. I just hate sitting on a cold toilet seat. It's just me. Is anybody else like that out there? Do you put toilet roll around the like seat to sit down on? I mean, it cut it works, loves. You may as well. Yeah, I think this is the right sink to use, but this is throwing me off the size difference between these. But we're just gonna do it anyway, to be honest. Um, a little mirror. I think the get to work mirror as well would work perfectly here. It will. It's not going to be the most glamorous of toilets. In fact, it's quite big. I might actually reduce the size of this down quite considerably. <laughs> quite considerably. Thank you. Um, I did get rid of that light now, though. Where did you go? Where did you go, my lovely? Everything's a song. Everything is a song. Yeah. And, but I do need to add another light in here now. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And I'm going to get in the same things that we've used here. I'm going to do one of these on this side. I am going to size it down though and change the color of it. Like that. 
In fact, let's move this mirror along now. And plonk you on the middle there. There we go. And then I'll use those paper towel dispensers as well. And I'll plonk one of those on this side. Like that. And also do another one of those bins in here too. There we go. I've also put a fire exit in every room. Is that in the middle? It's not. How rude. Um, yeah, that makes a bit more sense. That does make a bit more sense. This is kind of screaming out for another bench here as well now that I've got the room. So I'm going to do it. I am. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to put a bin by that. I'm just going to do that. So if you do want to sit outside the toilet like a weirdo, you can, you know, the option is there for you. So I think I want to add in two more of these rugs on either side here as well. One there and one there. Just so that they're not traipsing any crap that they've got on their feet through the, uh, through the veterinary. Oh, I'm for it. If you're wondering why these weird lights are weirdly placed, it's because of the skylights. Um, so I couldn't plonk, plonk them in the middle because I hate seeing skylights stuck to, um, sky. I hate seeing lights stuck to skylights. I failed today with this voiceover. You're gonna have to you have to excuse me, loves. <laughs> you really are. But this is cool. I'm happy with how this looks. I think it looks like a vet's. I wanted it to look like a vet's. Love the little like kennel area. That was such a cool idea from one of you guys. Um, so I'm absolutely for it. They've got two little, two little cheeky examination rooms, one big surgery room, and then obviously with some kennels as well. Nice. So tomorrow I'm going to come back for the final time and we're going to furnish the Airbnb apartment. We really are. So I want this place to mirror not all of Renee's tastes because I think Renee would be like, oh, I don't think I'm going to appeal to many people with all of the brightness that I like to put into my builds <laughs> or into my house, my builds. Um, so we're going to mute it down slightly for this house. And so we'll do all of these rooms. So if you didn't know, this is the entrance through here. You get through this way. There's an entrance here. You come up here into the corridor. We've got a bathroom. We've got a bedroom. We've got a dining, well, a kitchen and mini diner, I think. Or I might actually do the kitchen and then a living room, dining room, have a little table in here. But then we've also got some outside space where I'm going to do a nice little outside rooftop garden as well. So I'll be back with that tomorrow. There we go, my darlings. All done with part three of the Paws and Claws Veterinary. We'll be back tomorrow doing the Airbnb side of things, I think. You'll have to ignore my hair. I keep looking at it in the monitor and just... just I'm in for my haircut next week. Finally, the hairdressers are opening back up. So I get to go and see my friends and get my hair cut properly rather than doing my own hair, which I can't wait. I'm going to look very beautiful. And I really want to color my hair this summer. I might go black blonde again. I don't know. I might. I don't know. Why are we talking about that? I don't know. But I'll be back tomorrow with the next part or last part of this. As I said, if you want to join me on Twitch tonight, 7 p.m. GMT doing a Harry Potter build. Come along, have some fun, but if not, I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.